The writer's strike is officially over. Fox News' Ted Linder takes a closer look at what comes next for those previously on picket lines and when some of your favorite shows could go back on the air. For the first time in nearly five months, striking screenwriters will be able to resume working at 12.01 a.m. Wednesday. This after board members of the Writers Guild of America voted Tuesday night to officially accept a contract with major Hollywood studios. A tentative deal was first agreed to over the weekend. I mean, it's really been a collective effort, and I think we showed the power of, you know, uh, worker solidarity in, in bringing these companies to the table. While acceptance of the contract from union heads signals an end of the strike, writers still need to actually approve the contract for themselves. They'll vote October 2nd through the 9th. Many union members expect a positive result. The negotiating committee has earned the trust and goodwill of the membership. I think we all feel really great about the work they've done. So when they say they've won an exceptional deal, I think that makes people very excited about it. In the meantime, writers can at least go back to work. It means many late night talk shows may soon be some of the first programs to go back on the air after production stopped on May 2nd. Meanwhile, the actor's strike rages on. SAG after union members have been on picket lines since mid-July. Similar to the Writers Guild, actors are asking for better pay and protections from artificial intelligence. Actors hope the successful end of the writer's strike will influence studio execs to resume their contract negotiations. Ted Lindner, Fox News.